Hi guys, so today I'm going to have a haul for you from AI Art Impressions. These are things obviously that I purchased, um, that's why it's a haul. <laughs> and uh, I just want to quickly let you know if there's something that you're interested in that I'm showing here or the items that I picked up the last time around um, that uh, maybe you want to pick up because you know I'm going to do a tutorial on them and you like them, they are having a sale right now. I don't know when the sale ends because there was no uh, information like that, but I believe the code is AI Fun for you, but I'll have it here. Um, that is an affiliate uh, link that I have in the description box. So if you click that, that means I make a small commission from the sales that result from there. And I'll have that information here too. And then I have another uh, thing to mention before we get started real quickly is, um, you know, I've been using my Arteza real brush pens. Where are they? Here and there, kind of often now, because I really like that whole watercoloring kind of thing. And so I've shown you guys this 48 piece set, which is really nice because it's really comprehensive with the colors that it has, and it has a water brush and all that. So right now, Arteza is having a sale 25% off um, orders of 79 or more, and they have free shipping every day. So I just became an affiliate with them also. And so um, I just wanted to let you know about that as far as the coupon code, because that one does end on the 8th, June 8th. So today's the 6th, 6, 7, 8, right? And um, what I wanted to show you. Um, if you click there, you get 20% off and then you have two times points. They have, you know, a point system that you can earn points there. So if you want to check that out, but what I wanted to show you is that I ordered the Nida 6 real brush pen set that comes with the carrying case. And let me see if I can find it on here because I want the carrying case <laughs> and it was literally only like $10 more to get the Nida 6 pieces with the carrying case than to just buy the Nida 6 pieces by themselves. Also, again, of 79 or over, you get, what did it say, 20 or 25? I'm sorry, I don't remember. I thought it was 25, um, but whatever it said here, um, percent off. And um, so it was just a better deal, and then again, even lower price, right? So check that out. I will have the links in the description box. This is taking forever to come up. But I really like the case because it has, like, these cool clips, and then everything fits in there. Because like, right now, I kind of remove these things, and I, use, I leave them in here just so I can kind of quickly look at them because you can still see them, you know. So that's not bad, but I do want the uh, case. So I did order that in case you're um, wondering or if you like the brush pens that are the way I've been using them and you think it's something you want to get into, um, they have a great price right now. And I will have the links for the 96 case. I'll have the links for the 48 pieces. This is taking forever to come up. And I think it's my phone because I only have two little bars. One other thing I ordered from them to myself um, that I will be reviewing coming up are um, the acrylic pens. So, um, I don't know if you remember these from back in the day, the painters, and they still have them, but the Arteza ones are like less than a dollar each. And I ordered a set of 48, and they're basically, they paint acrylic paint, you know what I'm saying? So, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with these. I used to, back in the day, get little things like this, and like, let's say we had a little water bottle, and you want to write your name on it, which for me happens to be VNA. Uh, so, if I did the little thing, and then we put little dots on them, and it dries, then it will stay there pretty much forever. So, I really really enjoy these and so I ordered the Arteza ones because they're a great price and I will review those but if you think you're that's something that you'd want please um, go ahead and click that link down there and get that discount right now so I'm just gonna finish this up really quick since I'm doing it already um, and we used to do this all the time with like little gift things or if you're giving someone like a little jar with candy in them you do this thing it stays on there and it looks really cute and everyone thinks it's so adorable so I was really um, thought it was really cool to see those, but I don't know why it's not coming up. I'm sorry, I even paused to try to pull them up, but it's not coming up. But trust me, uh, the reviews are really great there, so if that's something you're interested in, I would get them now. But um, thanks, uh, everyone, who has always really kind of clicked my affiliate links there. And that reminds me, I wanted to show you this because it was sitting here. My little card that I made this morning, I hope you guys checked that out. A lot of you guys have already with uh, Diamond Press. And look at that, it's so cute. So make sure to check that out. I had it sitting here. I just wanted to show you guys that again. Um, and the link to that video will be in the description box. Um, somebody or a couple of people had mentioned something about clicking on my HSN links. I uh, That is not a affiliate link. HSN does not do that. So if you it's an HSN link, it's just there for you guys to get to that product easier. Um, it has nothing to do with me uh, or an affiliate link for me. So, but thank you. I appreciate that. You guys are really sweet because I know some people are like, oh no, I ordered that before and I didn't click your link, but it's okay. Don't worry about it, especially for HSN. So. Thank you guys. This is the stuff I just picked up from Art Impressions. Now what's interesting about this is that I, the first order I ever made with them, I think I've made two or three now. Um, they ship within like a day or two and they were gone, but I think there was a little time where they had some time off possibly a fire on Memorial Day, so it kind of backed up the orders because um, this one I ordered 
on the 24th and they arrived yesterday <laughs> I want to say or maybe today um, so it did take a little bit longer um, than usual uh, but I have placed another order since then that's already on its way so uh, I think like I said there was a little a little lag there so any of these things that I show you right here I will have links in the description box for and those would be affiliate links um, and uh, I you know appreciate your guys trying that out again remember they have a discount code right now I know it works today I don't know when it's gonna end but I tried it before I got on here so I can tell you guys I, I believe again it's AI fun for you but It'll be in the description box. So this is the wooden chair mini set 4876 and it's super cute. Oh my gosh. What I love about this one is that it has this stem, like the tall one, but it also has this kind of like vine and I've been needing vine ones. So really cute set. I look forward to reviewing that. These are kind of fun. If you guys remember the very first haul I did, I showed you guys a, um, like a metal frame that cuts out. Um, and it's a die for, it's a metal. <laughs> die obviously that cuts out a frame the, it, it's all one piece and all you have to do is kind of turn it turn it turn it until it makes a frame which I still need to review but I was waiting to get one of these so these kind of nestle in there if you want or you can obviously put anything else in there any other little artwork you do so I thought this was really cute so this one it says oh sing unto the lord a new song for he has done marvelous things uh psalm 98 verse 1 and I just thought it was really nice I like the little birds on the line there and everything super cute so this is m4878 I have another one okay so this is interesting this one's a clear stamp as you can see and this one is a foam mounted stamp and uh, somebody else had asked about that that she was kind of afraid of ordering stamps because said unmounted and these are not unmounted like the crafters companion ones like this this is unmounted these are literally unmounted it's just a piece of rubber you have to cut it you have to stick it on something or put it on your cling foam these are unmounted legit unmounted i think the reason ai says unmounted is because they are used to selling their um stamps on blocks right when they first started their company they were always on blocks so for them this is unmounted but it's really cling mounted hopefully you can see that and again some are even clear so um this is uh, a little cat it says always be joyful and hope patient in all all oh sorry in affliction faithful in prayer Romans 12 verse 12. Sorry, it took me a minute to read that. Hopefully I read it right. <laughs> but I really like the little uh, image that goes along with that sentiment. So uh, really cute. And that's M4877 B Joyful Window. Okay, if you guys remember, I had bought a Twister card, uh, the birthday cake one, um, Twister stamp, I guess. I didn't realize you needed this thing to make it work. So this is the steel die called 5218 Twist Frame Die. And it goes with any of the cards that you want that supposedly twist so i will review that it's very easy obviously you see this little aperture and then you make your little card base or whatever you want to put in there um this one is called christmas kitty flip card okay these are interesting uh that one this one this one and this so i think that's all it yeah so these are what they call um flip cards you know what? i might do this really quickly on this video i didn't i was thinking maybe not but um this is the Warthog flip card, 5107. So as you can see on the front, it looks like this. And when you open your card, there's it's going to flip back that little piece. Basically, it's just a little something that kicks up as your card is folded. And then on the inside, you're going to have the them facing forward on the inside facing out. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. But that's what the little dies look, I mean, the stamps look like. And this one's on clearance. I know the coupon does not work on sale items. So it's your full price purchase items. Sorry. If I didn't mention that. So this is Pumpkin Mice Flip Card 5182. So I picked up the ones I thought were cute that I would like for that. So this one has a little mice. And what I'm going to do at the end of this video is really quickly just stamp one out and cut it so you can see what I'm talking about. This is the Christmas Kitty Flip Card 5183. And they're wearing their little sweaters. How adorable is that? And um, this is the steel die that goes with it, 5103. So it just cuts your card like this. It does have some extra things with the numbers and the happy birthday. So it makes it a, a better value there too. Um, those are not expensive. Whenever they have a die that has to go with something, the die is usually pretty inexpensive in my opinion. Um, what else do we have here? The circlet mini trifolds. And this is so cute. The nativity circlet 5175. And how cute is that? So I had to pick that one up. Um, this one is very interesting. I've seen people use this just to make a car, just to make like a city looking scape, to do other things, to use as a trifold, but you can do whatever you want with them. Obviously they're just stamps and this is, these are some pretty good side stamps. So we can see that as big as it is. Um, it's supposed to make a trifold. Uh, this one's called Haunted House number 4688. 
And then we have the little bunny trifold uh, 4758. So this one looks a lot like the one I reviewed when I did the trifold review, but it's different. And what it's cute though is that you can mix and match. Like this little bunny can go in the other one that had the bird bath with the little bird or switch it out to this one. You know, you can switch these things around so you can even mix and match within the trifolds, the mini trifolds. So this is MTF mini trifold. Blessings to you, MTF 4758. Uh, this is the garden window trifold 4760. Uh, garden window MTF again. You have the little, look at this, how tiny this is. How adorable is that? Oh my gosh. And this Hello Friend is basically the same as the one that was in the, uh, I think that's what the other one said too, right? The one that I have reviewed. And this one has a little blessings to you. So you can, again, mix and match within each other. I was really curious to try this one out to go with this other set. Where is it? Oh. Do I not? Oh, maybe this is what I meant. Yeah. Okay. So Southwest. <laughs> I thought I got the bigger, taller one, but you know what? I think I held off on that. There's another one that's more Southwestern looking. They have two sets like that. But this one I thought was cute with the little pot. And um, I saw a video where uh, I think Bonnie or one of them lined up of several little pots and then they kind of painted them in a Southwestern way. And then you put your little cactuses in there. It looked really, really adorable. So I got that 4763 called Southwest. And um, this is the Holiday Mansion set. So this one's interesting. This uh, stamp and die you it's just your basic set so you see the little house you know the mansion and then the little cutouts for the windows and different things um, and then you can tuck things in there so I got that's called holiday mansion set <laughs> 4926 so I got the HM accessory set and the Christmas stuff 4927 holiday mansion and it has all the little stamps and all the dies to go with the stamps to kind of decorate your little mansion with and then I have Oh, you know, I think they have a Halloween one, but since I was buying a bunch of the Halloween things, I didn't pick it up, but maybe in the future I will. I got this one because it's too cute. The HM birthday set, fifteen ninety seven, And look how cute the little guy, and he can come out the door. I just think that is adorable. He fits right perfectly in the little door, or wherever you want to put him. It has a little banner, and it even has a little sentiment there. This one has sentiments, too. That's really cute. Oh, what am I talking about? This is, I thought this was all Christmas. I didn't realize, uh, duh. There's the <laughs> Halloween thing, sorry. So you have more than one, uh, uh, holiday on that one. I think the other one is a Valentine one. There was another one that I just didn't pick up. I don't remember the style. We have circlet mini trifold. So again, another Halloween one, because I just love Halloween stuff. This is so cute. Halloween circlet MTF 5026. I will be reviewing these circlets very soon. I'll probably, you know, have them all together. I do have some other ones that AI did send for, um, as a thank you, but I pretty much figure it's for a review. I, when I saw this in the magazine in their, um, I remember you guys, I had ordered the catalog. Um, I just, this, I had to get it. So it's the Happy Camper one, MTF 4969. And again, look how cute. And on this one, this little flap opens up. So when you open it up, you see the little like, uh, you know, like living area that goes into the bedroom. And then this little hole cuts out right here. And then you can see whoever's sleeping or sitting. They have different things. There's like a deer. There's like a little fox sleeping. There's a stack of books and coffee. That's so cute. I'm telling you. So there's different things you can put there. You don't have to go with just the fox. This one's adorable. Um, this one is on sale right now. I think it's on clearance. Produce Stand MTF 4970. Again, you don't get the discount on top of this, but this one is on sale already. Um, I believe it's still on sale. With a little um, trifold, but this one has the little opening uh, under the, what do they call these things? Awning? Yeah. And then this one, I know this is like boring cobblestone set 5018, but it look how cute when you can just pair it up underneath a pot or under your um, little house or just a, whatever you're going to draw. But it's really cute to just try these out. You do a little mask and you stamp it and you have like your little cobblestone. And it's so easy. All you do is draw out the color with your water. You stamp this in like gray and you're good to go. So really quickly, I'm going to grab some paper and I'll show you kind of what the idea is on these guys. And um, okay. I'll be, before we get to the stamps, I'm just going to take a piece of paper. Um, this is your standard A2 size, 5.5 by 8.5. So we're going to uh, bone fold it. I'm going to do that right now just so I know where to put this. Um, oopsie. Where to put that. Actually, is it going to do it for me? It's going to do it for me. I just don't know uh, where to actually place this. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Score my paper at four and a quarter. I'm not gonna fold it yet. And let's see on here. Oh, it does tell you. They say to cut a six and a half by five and a half pa uh, panel of cardstock. So I'm gonna leave it the way I have it because basically they want it to be shorter. So your card, when you fold it, it's gonna be a little smaller. But I'm starting off with the A2. But 
it says to go ahead and do a six and a half by five and a half. Uh, die cut with flip card die, so ends cut at three quarter inch bisecting six and a half inch side. Tips. Use a grid mat to ensure both ends are leveling a line and use washi tape to secure die. Fold on score line. The larger panel is in the front of the card. Stamp first sentiment on... Da, 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 da. So let me see here. Ooh. Alright, I'm going to have to take this off. Have you ever seen these? There are a lot of companies that sell their dies like this. I don't want to destroy this backing paper, but I might have to. Actually, I want to get these off at the once, but that's okay. So I'm going to go through and kind of just give it one of these. You kind of have to go back and forth a little bit to get the, um, the little dies off. And I will be right back. Another thing I suppose you could do is just cut them if you have wire cutters, which I don't know. Uh, no, mine's too far in. Let me see if I can get it. It might be that this is too far. Get you know what I'm saying? I can't get it in that area. So I'm just going to continue uh, turning them. And I kind of want to keep them together anyway, so it's better for me to turn them like this. And I'm just going to trim away the extra on my card since I didn't read the instructions first. We do have these little chads that you can probably take off later, but... Uh, so again, cut side facing down. And I'm going to line it up on that midsection, but... That's what they want you to do. So if you had five and a half, six and a half, they want you to cut it down the middle of this way. Um, and that's just how that goes. I guess you can do whatever you like, to be honest. If you want a slim line card, I don't see why you couldn't just do this and make it slim. Why not? So I'm gonna run this through really quickly. Hopefully really quickly. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to give you an idea how this works. That stuff doesn't fall over. All right. Again, I should have tapped myself with this uh, not so low tack tape. And basically, that goes like that, and this is up here. So that's all it does. It just cuts that little piece there so that you can do this, right? Um, and what I'm going to do is go ahead and trim this down. Well, you know what? Let's leave it for now. And so I'm going to take the little keys because they're adorable. And I think what I want to do is make it so that my paper is right here. So again, you can do lots of different things with this, whatever you like. Again, this also has the instructions for you as far as all that. Score three quarter inch length on top and bottom three quarter inch. Use a craft knife to cut one inch perpendicular. Um, so what's their say? What? Sorry, I was kind of reading this because what they're saying is if you don't want to get the die right, the die I just used, you can cut it yourself, and they're just telling you how to do that. So that's really nice. Let me grab some ink and we'll start stamping. Okay, so I have a couple pieces of stamping paper. I cut them both three and a quarter by five and a quarter, basically because I'm going to mount them in here. Now. I am going to cut this down, right? So basically they wanted you to use a six and a half inch piece of paper. So that means our card from here, this edge. So cut at six and a half to begin with. Obviously you don't have to do this, <laughs> but um, six and a half folded in half is three and a quarter. So I just want to make sure I have those measurements correct. If I bring this back in here. Right? So basically, if we had just, if I just started off with this thing being smaller like it asked, it'd be something like this. And let me see if this paper still fits the way I was imagining. Yeah, we need to go three inches. Three inches wide by five and a quarter. Now I'm just doing this flying by the seat of my pants, guys. So <laughs> sorry if, you know, I took it back. But it's because I hadn't read that you, they wanted something smaller. So this card's a little bit smaller than your standard A2 size. But then again, with this flipping out, I wonder how wide is this? It is four and a quarter, so it still goes in the same Saturday two size envelope. Genius. Okay. I guess that's the way to make it work, right? Because otherwise you have to get a way bigger envelope when it flips out if it was four bigger than your. Uh... So, what I'm going to do is stick this down and then I'm going to stamp. 
And of course that's a little bit dangerous because if you stamp incorrectly, I'm just doing it this time because I don't exactly know where I need to put this. So I'm going to put this here. And again, if you want to ink around it, obviously you don't want to just stick it down like I did. And then this one actually needs to be smaller. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Let's see. Just try it out, guys. This is new stuff for me. This is two and a quarter to there. So this should be two inches wide. Or deep, I guess. No wonder. I was wondering because they're kind of small, the little uh, stamps. But it's because to fit in here, they got to be a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. So cute. Okay. And on the front, we're going to have our little kitties. I love the way this carrier is stuck to the base one, so you can just keep opening and closing it. I don't really like when they're two different pieces, but, you know, pretty much most companies do that. Where it's two different pieces. And I'm going to put this up as far as I can. It gives you space here to write something else or to stamp something else. I'm just going to pick these guys up. And... Let me think. How would I... I'm probably going to do watercolor. I'm probably going to color this off camera, but... I'm probably going to do watercolor, so I would do this. Again, I'm just constructing it right now so we can see what it looks like. Normally, I would paint it and do all that off camera. Not off camera. What am I saying? <laughs> off of this uh, not stuck down, right? Ooh, here we go. I just want them to get as close to that very top as I can. Because the point is that this looks like they're holding up the little card. Aww, so cute. And then we'll flip this, and we'll do the little backs. And again, I'm just going to ink these up. I think this would be really cute on lots of different cards. It doesn't have to be something like this, with a little front and back. Okay. And again, we color that in, make it look adorable. And since I'm using this Centura Pearl, this green card base here, I'm sorry people ask a lot of times about um, links. And I've said before, I buy this sometimes from close to my heart, not close to my heart, <laughs> Crafter's Companion, when they have like um, bundle deals. So a lot of times I don't know the name of the color. On top of that, it just... It's just not there, so um, I, I don't know. And then what happens once the bundles are gone is that they take it off of their site, so you can't even go back and order it or see it again. So I don't have that for you guys, but we have the word sending you. So I'm gonna stamp it with my stays on in black, but if I had like a dark green, I think that'd be cuter or maybe red because it's kind of Christmassy. I'm just gonna stamp this anywhere. I don't really know, <laughs> you know. And I guess I probably could have stamped this on something else, not just the card base. Oopsie, I didn't do that too well. This is what happened that last time with my uh, stays on. She acted kind of funny. I'll probably take my time and do another tutorial for this, because obviously I want to color it in for you guys. But right now I just want to show you the idea. And then we have warm wishes. So what I was trying to say is maybe I should have put this on another piece of paper so it's like they're holding up the other piece of paper like a banner. Cute. And then we color it in. So I know right now it doesn't look like too much because there's nothing going on here, but it's really, really adorable, the little sending you warm wishes. All right, guys, so I'll have any links. Um, again, they have that 25% off right now on AI, and I will have that in the description box. Um, the Arteza one, it's not a code that you need. I do have a code, but... Um, once you put $79 in your cart, it will take the 25% off and you always have free shipping. So I'll have those links down there for you. Um, yeah, and look at this. It's already dry. As I'm telling you, it's really cool. I just like using them back in the day. So I thought, oh, you know, that's something fun I might want to try right now. So um, I'm going to pick up those pens. And thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them here. And I will see you guys at the next one. Mm, bye now.